Scarborough, November the 7th, 1856. Sir, I fear it will be no easy matter to encourage the barn owl, and for this particular reason. The poor birds are hunted and shot down by every farmer and every farmer's lad who can muster a gun, so that, until this slaughter can be put a stop to, any owls that you may import into your locality will very soon disappear for ever. If the forest which you mention can be freed from the reports of guns, I should say, then a pair of barn owls will soon take up their quarters in the place which you've prepared for them. But this will entirely depend upon the cessation of all gun reports. The people of England seem determined to destroy the whole race of birds, either for cabinets of natural history or under the plea that the birds are mischievous and do harm to gardens and orchards and to the culture of land in general. You might try the plan of turning loose a pair of barn owls, but still, I would not buoy you up with much hope that they will answer your expectations. I remain, sir, very truly yours, Charles Waterton. It's interesting that Charles Waterton wrote so passionately about his concerns of birds being wantonly killed in the countryside way back when he was a naturalist. And yet it still continues today. Sport shooting is still incredibly popular. Perhaps in the region of 60 million non-native game birds are released into the UK countryside every year simply for the purpose of shooting. The byproducts of that industry are that predators are either legally or illegally persecuted and that, of course, 60 million non-native game birds will have a tremendous impact on the ecology of the UK countryside. And then, of course, there's all of the other casual shooting. We have a system in the UK called the General Licences, which means that essentially people can go out and shoot birds that are on a certain list whenever they feel that they want to. And I'm sad to say that they do. And in recent years, my colleagues Mark Avery and Ruth Tingay and I have done what we can to try and prevent this casual shooting. We're not anti-shooting and we recognise that sometimes birds can make a, well, I don't like to use the word myself, but pests of themselves and therefore they might need control, but only as the last, last line of attack. Before that, passive management should be sought. And of course, what Waterton didn't realise when he was writing that was that the enormous number of birds that would have existed in his day would have been decimated by ours. And the catastrophic declines that we've seen in our woodland and particularly our farmland birds would have horrified him. <laughs>